everybody and welcome to Nonsense Reviews here on the Nonsense Media Club YouTube channel. The name is Brian Chevre and today we're going to be reviewing Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Now, I want to say I did record this video a little earlier uh, last week, but uh, the audio was messy, so I had to check on what was wrong with the equipment and all that, but uh, we figure it out now. Let's talk about Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3, directed by James Gunn, and it features the returning cast of Chris Pratt, Soy Sultana, Dave Bautista, Plum, Plum Clemente, uh, Bradley Cooper, Vin Diesel, Karen Gillan, and many, many more. Now, I have to say, Marvel has been on a so-and-so streak uh, lately. Not many people enjoy it. Uh, Ammon and the Wasp Quantumania, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, uh, Thor, Love and Thunder. Uh, some of the Disney Plus shows were also hit and miss. I enjoyed uh, Miss Marvel, uh, WandaVision, the Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special, and uh, Werewolf by Night. I might as well say that I'm a bit of a fan of the Moon Knight uh, TV series myself. But uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, this is being marketed as the final chapter in this version of the Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, the ones that we've known for quite a while, and the last movie that James Gunn is going to direct under Marvel uh, Studios as he goes on to be the president of DC uh, Studios and directing the next Superman film with our, our brand new Superman, and I have to say, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 to me is amazing. I love this movie uh this movie gets dark uh surprisingly so the uh, a lot of the jokes uh land i think everyone was at their top when it comes to playing their characters uh the movie the movie was amazing i saw it with a friend who watched all of the guardians of the galaxy movies uh at the last minute because she has no clue of the marvel cinematic universe and how it works And she quite enjoyed the movie as well. She was attached to a certain character in this film that we see uh, his uh, his story further. Uh, and by that character, we mean uh, uh, Rocket Raccoon, uh, Rocket. We see a lot more of his story unfold as uh, of his origins. And uh, it's uh, quite traumatizing. So this movie for the smaller kids in the crowd, it's got to be a hard watch. But again... The movie's fun. The movie's fantastic. I think the story was great. Some people really didn't like uh, the direction they took with uh, Adam Warlock. I'm, I didn't mind it. I quite like the explanation of why the character is the way th that it is. And, uh, of course, uh, the high evolutionary. I forget the actor's name. He was in Peacemaker as well. Brilliant. And I wouldn't mind it for a second if they choose him. To, re to be recast, you know, as Kang the Conqueror and make some wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey explanation as to why he will be now Kang. I don't care. I will see him in anything. I love him at the, as the high evolutionary. And this movie, to me, a straight out of five out of five. The first in a while for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's been a while since the last had a great movie. This is one of the best movies out there. Since Endgame and No Way Home, uh, No Way Home, and uh, I can't wait to see it again when it lands on Disney Plus. Anyways, guys, let me know if you guys love this movie. Since everyone is so divisive when it comes to the MCU, let me know in the comment sections down below, and I'll be seeing you guys next time.